Hello, my name is Volker Blazik and I want to give you a short introduction into the options you have in the SAP and Alfresco world. We talk about Connexus, which is our product from Pernexus, connecting the SAP world, the business objects, with documents on the Alfresco side. Connexus is certified by SAP and also certified by Alfresco. And besides connecting the documents between Alfresco and SAP, we also can replicate metadata so we can completely manage the documents then on the Alfresco side, searching for documents. And also we support uh, the SAP side up to the latest world, so the SAP HANA environment, but of course also SAP R3 and ERP. Now let's go to the SAP site and see how this looks for the end user in the SAP world. I do have a business object here, a purchase order. For the purchase order or for other business objects, we have the so-called services for object available. In this case, we see there is no attachment list right now. That's why I create and store a new business document. In this case here, we choose the purchase order to Alfresco and you see simply by drag and drop I can move the document to the SAP GUI and in the background the document is already stored to the Alfresco site. We have the chance to type in some additional description so we have uh, uh, this kind of information and that's it. We have seen there are only two clicks to select the document type and finally store the document here from my front end. Now we have seen how to create the document and now let's see the attachment list. Now we have a document attached, you see here, this is the document that I attached right now. We can have here some detailed information for this document which we can also see later on on the Alfresco site because we can replicate information. But for the end user it might be interesting simply to display the document. And again, you see, we are completely on the SAP site, so the SAP document viewer pops up. The document is here, and we even have here some options like uh, editing the notes. And you see that we can store these notes easily in again inside the SAP GUI. If I check again the note, we see that we have here a timestamp, and we could even change the note with some additional information. So that's it on the SAP side, completely integrated and the end user does not have to leave this known environment. Now let's have a look to the Alfresco site. So this is the overview or this is uh, the front end for the end user in Alfresco, its share. And we have the chance to choose different sites, logical areas inside Alfresco, where we can, by the way, manage many different SAP systems. So in this case, we have here our pay system where we did the demo right now. And in this system, I check the document library besides all the other functionality that you have available on the Alfresco site. Now, in Alfresco, the document arrives and we move the document to a folder structure based on the metadata that we have created or that we replicated from the business objects in SAP. So here in this um, example we choose the location 1, it's a set T archive and um, you know that we were talking about a purchase order right now, let's check here the folder for the purchase orders. This is exactly the purchase order that we uh, handled and you see it has been created two minutes ago. So we have here now a dedicated folder for this purchase order. We see that here is a document in this folder that is linked to SAP and we can check here that we have two information. One is the note and one is the actual PDF document. All of them are linked to SAP. If we check the PDF for example then we get a preview of the document and we have here many actions available, but more important for me now is that we also have this metadata replicated. So this is standard uh, SAP archive link information only, you can't use, but we see here all information that we typed in, then of course our purchase order, also the deletion date, um, so you replicate also this information. So all is available on the Alfresco site. 
So besides the metadata that we have replicated, we have also actions available. For example, here, if we are not happy with the metadata, we can also open directly the document on the SAP side. You see, I log in to the SAP world and here is my purchase order and I can get even more information on the line item level. Coming back to the home, of share, we see that we have also the chance to search for these documents obviously on the Alfresco site. For example, we can search here for our purchase order number and we get it immediately hit list in a Google-like way. We also have advanced search options, so you have many different ways of searching for this uh, content inside Alfresco. We take here the SAP related search area, we can also search here for our purchase order number and we get the result list of all documents that are available with uh, related to the purchase order in our faceted way. So we have here the chance to see also this faceted search. And finally, clicking on the document, um, we can display the document, the preview, and have everything available again on the Alfresco site. Please don't forget to visit our website with all new information about new releases, about our integration to activity, our pricing and so on. So please visit connexus.eu.